Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. Um, and I will be walking you through fourth grade English today, week number 31 and day number five. And as usual, day number five is going to be about listening and verbal training. We'll get a chance to practice how to be good listeners, right? So I am going to read a scripture to you. You are going to listen to me without interrupting me. All right. How would you know not to interrupt? Well, you are going to be watching for my peaches. You're going to be watching for the up and down movement of my voice. If my pitch is high, it means that I am not finished with what I'm talking about. Please wait. When my pitch drops over there, you're going to know, wow, that's true. He's finished. Let me go ahead and make my point. This needs to be taught because when people interrupt each other, emotions can get hurt. All right. And then people start fighting themselves over little things like that because he just interrupted me. <laughs> well, the reason for it is because people are not just taught properly. And that's the reason we want to make it a point to use this lesson to teach good listening skills. And in addition to that, we are going to be reading through a scripture. And why are we doing that? Why are we going to be reading through a scripture? Well, the reason we want to do that is because of what Deuteronomy chapter six talks about. Deuteronomy chapter 6 says, make sure that every learning experience is tightly coupled together with the knowledge of God. Why? So you don't use that knowledge that you've gotten from your mathematics, English, and science to do something bad on the outside. And we've got lots of people like that right now in the world. They are smart, supposedly. Educated, supposedly. But then they're going to use all that knowledge to do something evil on the outside, like steal credit card numbers or do something really bad like that. Well, we don't want that to be your story coming through the HHA. So that's the reason we are tightly intertwining your learning experience with godly values. So here's the process. I'm going to read the scripture to you and you get to listen to me without interrupting, right? And then we are going to repeat that scripture together. You are going to repeat that scripture right after me, right after I have read it to you. All right, so go ahead and listen to me right now. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans chapter 12, verse 12. All right, be joyful in hope, Patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans chapter 12 and verse 12. All right, so go ahead and repeat after me. Say, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans chapter 12 and verse 12. Right. So did you see how we modulated our pitches a little bit to let the listener know we are still in the middle of our sentences? Please do not interrupt. All right. So moms and dads, go ahead and walk through that exercise with your child so that they can be good listeners and potentially good speakers as well. All right. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 